going on, the friends? My name is Extra Gates, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Diamond. We're off the last time we caught Dialga of the Spear Pillar, and now in this part, we are going to make way to the uh, well, after you beat Team Galactic in uh, and dealing with that whole Mount Cornet scene, then we can actually do something really special. And it is preferred to do at the end of the game, but I would like to do it now, just to get the, just to get out of the way. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, well, first, I'm in Lake Acuity, and I did this in Platinum. I caught all three of these legendary Pokemon in backwards order, and I guess I'll do it again since I'm already here. So every lake has one of these has one of these TMs here, uh, such as the TM 14 for Blizzard. It's actually a really powerful Ice side move, uh, and every lake has one of the, has one of those really powerful TMs. So also every lake has one of these islands, and we go inside the cave over here, and what do you know? It happens to be a legendary Lake Mirage Pokemon. All right. Well, I guess if you're ready. Um, before you begin, I would recommend that you save, and because this is your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to catch something like this, so, without further ado, let's do it. Kion! Alright, Uxi. There's Uxi, Azelf, and Mesprit. All three of them are on level 50. All three of them are Psychic Pokemon. And all three of them have the Levitate ability, which means you cannot hit them with a grass with a ground type move at all. Uxi has the moves Confusion, Yawn, Future Sight, and Amnesia. Amnesia raises defense and special defense. No, no, no. Special defense by a lot. Um, Yawn will make you fall asleep, but it does not matter since Stan has the Insomnia ability. Uh, confusion will cause confusion. And Future Sight is one of those really weird moves that will that will hurt you occasionally. So, Future Sight is the only thing that will damage Stan. Now, I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going for Night sh Nightshade because I don't want to use Night Slash and kill it. That is not what I want to do. Now, one thing I did not mention during the Dialga battle is you don't is don't be surprised if a, if a legendary Pokemon takes you maybe 50 tries to catch because that is how a typical legendary fight works. And tip and a typical legendary Pokemon have well, most legendary Pokemon have very extremely low catch rates and. Don't worry about and and don't use your Master Ball, even if it's your last resort. Just if, if that's your only Pokeball left, then reset your game. So, all right. Well, that's all I gotta say. So, I guess now you shall just enjoy the show.
Yes! Thank you! Oh my god. That took me three... That took me three recording attempts to get this. Finally. No one has the being of knowledge. It is said that it can wipe out the memory of those who see its eyes. <sighs> wow. Alright, well, that's the first... Let, that is the first out of the three Mirage Pokemon that we're going to be getting in this episode. So, I'm going to be refilling on Pokeballs, and then we shall be on moving on to the next one. Okay, now it is time to go for the next Pokemon, so let's go ahead and do it. Alright, I realize that I have not recorded in about maybe a week, so... Let's see how things will turn out this time. Comptor might might be a little bit rusty as compared to the uh, as compared to the other video. As I am recording these legendary Pokemon one video at a time, um, but they are going to be all in a single episode, so do not worry. All right, so we're welcome back to Lake Valor. We were here last time. And the last time we were here, there the lake got blown up by by Team Galactic. And now this time around, it is not blown up. We have water this time, so that means we can surf and we can finally get this item, which is a TM25 for Thunder. It is a really, really ultimate electric type move. Um, it has, I believe, it has 150 power, and it, ha but however, it has 70 accuracy. However, but when it's raining, you can actually. When it's raining, the, the move actually has a 100% accuracy, so it's a really, really good move. I'm um, probably going to teach that to Sparkle later on, so anyway. Uh, go to the Valor Cavern, and we have our next Pokemon. So I would recommend heal, save, do whatever, because once again, this is your once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So let's do it! Kion! Okay, this is Azulf, the second out of the three Mirage Pokemon. Just like all the other three Pokemon, it is on level 50, it is a Psychic type, it has a Levitate ability, it has the moves Confusion, Uproar, Future Sight, and Nasty Plot. Uh, Uproar is really, really annoying. Nasty Plot, you want to be careful, you don't want to, to use a lot of Nasty Plots, otherwise then your team is going to get swept by a lot. Confusion can't do anything to stand so um, and then we have the future site which can be really really annoying careful all right so once again chip it down little by little uh, go for another nice shade and let's see and let's see what happens I um, I have a really bad feeling that I'll take it out Okay, good enough. All right, nice. All right, and here's the future side attack coming up, uh, uh, coming in, and then now the rest of the fight is wow. Okay, and now the rest of, the rest of it is just me throwing pokeballs. So make sure you're stocked up on pokeballs. This is my fifth reset attempt. Uh, so I guess without further ado, enjoy the show.
Yeah! Thank you! What the heck? I literally bought 66 Ultra Balls just for this fight. Oh my goodness. Known as the being of willpower, it sleeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. Alright, there we go. Finally. At least it didn't take me 21 reset attempts like it did in Platinum. Oh my god, that was probably the worst moment in that LP. Alright, well, we got two out of the three legendary Pokemon, and now we're gonna go for the last one right now. Alright, and now it is time to go for the third Pokemon. And the third Pokemon, well, depending, well, I guess the, I guess it really doesn't matter on which order you decide to go about with, how to ca with catching this Pokemon, as long as you catch all the three Pokemon. Uh, so, but this is the order that I decide to go about, which is the backward, the, the uh, quote unquote backwards order. Over here, you can get the TM30 for Fire Blast, which is a really, really strong fire type move. Uh, Amy already has it, but I might teach it to someone else if anyone can learn it. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who. I doubt anybody else could, but you know, it's not worth a try. It, you know, it could be worth a try later on. Anyway, time to go to the uh, variety cavern. Um, now, I would recommend going to the going into Jubilee City, talking to the the Pokech president on the on the building nearest to the route, the surfing route to Candlelight City um, for this, because this will make your life a lot easier. Gone. What? No battle. Where you go? What? That was Mesprit. You've accomplished what I'd ask you to do at the, at the Candlelight Library. I see you get data on the Pokemon of the lake, and, and you did. I didn't provide any answers about the mysteries of, uh, of evolution. I still don't know why why some Pokemon evolve and others don't. Ultimately, it depends. It it, depend, it, it, it only deepened the mystery. But having but having mysteries to solve, to solve that adds to my enjoyment. Okay. Seems like it wants to play with me. All right, time to use the uh, time to play a nice game of hide and seek. Then, in that case, all right then. So if you talk, to, so the marking app is an app that you get in. Um, uh, in Jubilee City, like I said. Uh, it's one of the it's uh, it's one of those it's one of the apps that you can that it's one of the apps that you can get from the from the Pokech president, and what it looks like is right around. This is Link Searcher, by the way. I'm not I don't know what it does, and this right here, I forget what the name of this app is called, but you can you, you this will help you do better in battle you'll know which uh, types are strong against which types and which types are weak against which types so it's very useful okay where is it um okay so Alright, here it is. This is the marking app. Okay, I, I, I think I just passed it like... like uh, I think I like took a lap around the poke edge to find it, but... Anyway, uh, so you're gonna notice that there is a face on, the, on that map on the bottom. And what that represents is uh, where Mesprit is. So therefore means this will tell you what type of Pokemon Mesper is. And this introduces a thing called roaming Pokemon. And the way roaming Pokemon works, the way roaming Pokemon work is they will um, be at, they will actually be anywhere in the region. They will never be at a city at all. They will always be at a route where you can encounter Pokemon. So, um, basically, occasionally when you go from one area to another, 
uh, the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon's location will change. So as you can see, so as you can see, every time I enter a new area, it changes locations. So you just gotta hope that it stays at the location that you're approaching. Otherwise, then you have really bad luck. Uh, so I would recommend you have a you have a weak Pokemon with you when when encountering roaming Pokemon. And when you get into a battle with a roaming Pokemon, it's gonna run away right off the bat. So what I would recommend is a Quick Claw and a Pokemon that can learn Mean Look, or any Pokemon that has, um, or any Pokemon that has an ability that prevents a Pokemon from running from running away. And I'm gonna spur a Pell here because I don't want it to run into any other Pokemon besides the one that I'm looking for. So, let's hope I can encounter it. Okay, it's near. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Did not take did not take me long. I didn't even have to have to cut cut anything out. That's really nice, actually. Okay, so as soon as I make my first move, it's gonna run away. Just letting so you know. So I'll recommend you have a quick claw out, and then you have a Pokemon that has either mean look. Or you get a Pokemon that prevents it from running from running away at all by any circumstances. Um. So, but I because I don't have any of those, I'm going to use my favorite strategy that I like to use on a roaming Pokemon. That's right. It's time. It is time to use the Master Ball. There we go. Now, as far as I'm aware of, this is the only roaming Pokemon in the game. So, I can just use my Master Ball and be done. Known as the being of emotion, it taught humans the, the nobility of sorrow, pain, and joy. Alright, and that's it. All three Pokemon are caught. Alright, and since we're actually done now... I guess it's time for us to make our way to the next city. Hopefully, I hopefully I can squeeze in some room for this.